hello everyone you are welcome to my channel today thank you so much for always stopping by this channel okay today i am making a video on this headpiece that you are seeing i would be showing you all that you need to make this for yourself so the basic thing is that you can make it for yourself so i will take you through all what you will need to make it for yourself and it's very easy believe me when i say it's very easy it is very very easy okay so you can see how it looks for me it's beautiful so let's just go through what we would be needing to make it okay so we are going to need some piece of fabric like maybe scuba and all of that and then we will need art wire scissors pin you know pin just to turn it out and then we'll need our hot glue to do our finishing hot glue and candlestick and also we would need a plier because without the plier you cannot cut the at wire so that's it so we're going to start quickly by folding a bit of the fabric so the length you would use is your choice because it actually depends on the length of um leaf or shape that you want so the, that that triangular shape it depends on the length that you want so you can do like 15 and then your sewing can be like one inch you fold it into two and then you sew so after that you have all this piece you can do up to 10 piece you can do up to eight you can do i actually started with making six but i added two extra to it so which means i used about uh, eight piece instead of six so i would be fixing the um the art wire and when you want to use the art wire, please ensure it is that very flexible one. You know, you have the one that is strong and you have the one that is very, very light and flexible, easy to bend. So make sure that that's the art wire you would buy. So to fix the art wire into the fabric, you will need to like give the edge a little bit of a fold, which would allow you to fix it or pass it through the fabric very easily. If you do not fold it, it will be sticking to the fabric and then it would be difficult for you to pass it through. So just fold the edge and it will go through it smoothly. So after doing that, you just fold it to shape and pull the iron, that is the art wire, in so tight. When you pull it in so tight, it's going to smoothen the fabric before you start to sew. So we would be using same color of uh, thread to like stick it down now this part of sewing it down is a little bit tricky because it has a way of trying to pull back so when you try to sew it down it will be a kind of will i say slippery something like that and it will start going back now you can see how i just like give a little press to the edge you know and then you have the leaf shape or triangular shape just coming out and this can only happen because we are using the art wire if for instance we are using the bone for it you cannot uh, get out this shape that i just pressed out now so you would need just art wire other things can do this but it cannot create this edge so because of that you can use uh, for instance the crilloni inside uh, this fabric now it will come out but it's not going to be able to form this sharp edge that i just formed out now so the only thing that can actually do this for us now is this flexible art wire so while you are sewing this uh button you have to ensure that you sew it very tight huh add a little bit of hot glue to it so that it will have a way of uh, sticking the fabric to the uh, to the art wire because you know the art wire is iron so 
it's not possible you just sew it and you expect it to stay so in sewing it you really have to give it a little bit of time to sew it if not you find the the fabric slacking backwards and then looking like um that is the thing is losing its shape so what you do is you pull it um sew it very tight pull the edge and then you cut out the excess if you are cutting out the excess and your fabric is still there it can cut but it will be difficult for the plier to go through so i always advise that you find a way of cutting the fabric remember there is hot wire in between this fabric so it will be a little bit difficult for my scissors but what i'm trying to do is just for me to get out some space so that i can see the iron and from there i can easily cut it so you can see that it was fat while doing that so you can also use just razor blades to like pull the fabric a little and cut so that you can see the art wire and then from there you can use your plier to detach okay so just cut it out like this so the shape is ready as it is we will go ahead to make every other uh, one that we need don't forget to press that edge the moment you give a little press to that edge it's going to uh, come out it will make it look uh, slim to reduce the wideness and just like narrow it a bit so there's something else i want you to take note of the finer edge remember that it is a wire so you need to curve the finer edge if you do not of the the finer edge it can have a way of piercing the head and of course anything that will pierce my head is going to make me uncomfortable so i would not want anything i would not want to wear anything that will make me uncomfortable <laughs> so, so as much as possible you try to like give the wire a little bit of a bend bend it inward and then use the plier to sit it down for every one of the shape that you are creating and of course you can see what i'm doing this is the reason the art wire can be the only one that will do this work perfectly you can curve it to any direction you can just decide to fold downwards you can decide to give it an indefinite uh, shape you call some parts you can do anything you want to do with it because it's flexible and it will adjust to any direction that you are taking it to so the art wire is the best for it hmm? okay so now that i am done with every part of the uh, shape i'm creating i would need a part where this shape can actually sit because you know fixing it to the head to make it a head piece you need something that every one of them can be attached to so to i'm sorry so to do that what i did was to just get a little shape of a circle with same art wire and the fabric so i just twist the wire make it strong and then i would be using um breast tube you know that breast tube white uh, the breast tube um part I would be using that breast tube pad to like cover it up you know this circle like this i will put a breast tube pad on it of course if you don't want to cover it you can still sew the shape around this circle and then place this circle on the head band that you will be using so for me i would be using this circle i'm preparing now and then i would also use the small uh, alice band you know that tiny headband you can see it resting on the wall very close to the wall there where the elastic is so i would be using it but before i would use that one i would like to like um wrap it up with a red uh, ribbon a uh, ribbon i would like to use a right a red ribbon to wrap the um, alice band or i can just sew something like what i have now can just sew it on it and then um wear it on the alice band but i actually prefer to to wrap so i'm going to wrap it 
but before i go ahead with that just watch how i am uh, using the chest the breast tube that's the breast tube now to cover this little circle and then i'll get a piece of a red fabric as well and then cover it after which i would cover the uh, alice band and then i will fix all the shape to it add a little bit of a rose to it and a little bit of feathers and that would just be all and um the remaining part after fixing i will cover it under so that would just be all i believe that everything you need to know about this video is embedded in this video everything you need to know about this head piece is embedded in this video if only you would watch this video to the end another thing is um you can ask me questions if you feel you are not still uh clear enough with what i have explained you can ask me questions i would be ready to respond to your questions all right so if today is um, your first time discovering creative ends international uh you are welcome to my platform thank you so much for discovering us today if you like our videos you can check them out on the creative ends platform and you will see a lot of videos a lot of trainings that would interest you and if you really like the way i train you can please subscribe to the channel and i will really appreciate that thank you very much don't forget to hit on the notification bell and on the like uh, icon also so that other persons can discover this video thank you i would be seeing you in my next video do have a nice day for me it is bye bye
so you can make the you can make the triangle or this leaf shape as many as you want you can do eight you can do ten you can do 12 you can call it to any direction down or fold it twist it to form any shape out of it so what i have as my thumbnail you know uh this might not really be exact but this is the concept because you know you can set it as you want you can make some short make some long make some coily turn it again and again and all of that because it's flexible so that's just it <laughs>